Oh my god, you guys. I cannot believe I am actually making this video. Like, I'm literally filming this vlog right now. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie, and today I am fulfilling my lifelong dream of getting a Siberian Husky puppy. <laughs> Every time I say it, I'm just like, what? <laughs> if you guys have not been following me for a while, you would not know, but I have been obsessed <laughs> with Siberian Huskies since I was eight years old, so that is 13 years now. I don't remember where the obsession came from or why it started. All I know is that I have 37 stuffed huskies in my closet and I got the first one when I was eight years old, which means I had to have started sometime around then. So we moved into our new house about five months ago and my parents told me when we moved, as long as I had my own room, since I did share a room at our old house, as long as I had my own room and I was able to financially and physically and mentally take care of a puppy I could get a husky and so since we moved into this house I have been looking everywhere all over um, my area for a husky puppy because I knew I wanted a puppy and I knew I wanted a girl and I knew I wanted her to be black and white um, and I've been looking everywhere for months now and finally about a month ago my cousin was like oh I know a few of the people in my neighborhood have huskies and like I know the name of their breeder and she gave them to me and I reached out to the breeder and it was like literally like all the stars aligned because she literally had just had a few litters of puppies born that were going to be available to go home in like four weeks and those four weeks are now over and tomorrow I'm going to pick up my puppy and I just what so i obviously wanted to vlog this whole experience and share it with you guys i have been waiting and waiting to be able to say something with to you guys but i just wanted to keep it a surprise to make it a little bit more fun but i have been counting down every single day waiting to be able to pick up my puppy it is the night before it's currently like nine o'clock on saturday april 6th i'm leaving tomorrow around 8 30 with my mom and my dad to go get her she is about three and a half hours away so it's a little bit of a drive um so we're leaving kind of early tomorrow so we can get her and then get home before it's like too late um so i just wanted to make like the intro and everything to the studio tonight just to make sure i had time to do that before i got up so i didn't have to get up like extra early tomorrow to like start this video before we like left because you know before we get any further into this video i did film a little disclaimer for you guys that i'm gonna put in right now if you are not here to tell me everything i am doing wrong why i'm an awful person for buying a husky why I'm an awful person for buying a puppy, why I'm an awful person for going through a breeder and not through a shelter or a rescue, um, then you feel free to skip the disclaimer. I'll put the timestamp on the screen of when to skip if you want to skip the whole thing, but you cannot upload a video to YouTube about any kind of pet without someone telling you that you're stupid and awful and horrible and going to kill your animal and that you just shouldn't even be allowed to have pets. So I had to film a disclaimer because I knew getting a puppy and a Siberian Husky, I was going to get a ton of comments about everything I was doing wrong. So for those of you who are here to tell me how awful I am, please watch the disclaimer before making any comments. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. Okay, so I filmed this whole disclaimer and the audio on it is like so messed up. I don't even know what is going on with it, but now I have to refilm it and it's nine o'clock in the morning and I look literally like an egg, but I need to get this video up today. So I'm just gonna quickly try to go through this disclaimer real quick because I don't wanna keep it too long. And also I look really ugly and I don't want you to look at me like this for that long. So I'm just gonna say, I know that owning a Siberian Husky is a super controversial thing. I know that a lot of people get them because of their looks and because of their status um, and then they don't know what they're getting into and that's how Huskies end up in shelters or homeless or just not being taken care of properly. Um, that is not the case here. I, like I said, have wanted a Husky for 13 years. I did 
so many hours of research even before when i was like literally a kid i would like go to my school library and like check out the book about siberian huskies because for some reason my school library had a book for every single kind of breed but i would check it out like every single week and just read it and like i have done so many hours of research watched so many videos looked on so many different husky forums and even before i was gonna get a husky and then especially since look starting to actually look for a husky and then buying one i was doing so much research and i'm still doing research i obviously don't know everything if you guys have tips or anything like that con constructive criticism anything like that that you know about huskies and you want to comment down below help me out i would greatly appreciate it because i'm not going to say i know everything i obviously don't but um this definitely wasn't a case of me just being like oh i want to get a siberian husky because they're so cute and then like not knowing that like they're a super active breed and they need a lot of exercise and all of that kind of stuff because i do so that's that um please don't come for me for buying a husky because it wasn't a case of not knowing what i was doing i know i'm also going to get comments because i bought a puppy through a breeder and of the whole adopt on shop movement people get really mad about it um i'm just gonna flat out say it i don't agree with that movement i literally think there's nothing wrong with buying dogs through a reputable breeder obviously i didn't buy her at a puppy mill i didn't buy her at a pet store i did research on the breeder made sure it was a reputable breeder um, my cousin knows people who bought puppies through her so it wasn't like a thing where i didn't know the breeder and it was just like some random backyard breeder or something she was legit i made sure of that before i bought a puppy through her um but i wanted a puppy because i wanted to be able to raise her and train her from the start um my family owns a small dog we own a bichon and huskies have a high prey drive and it's not recommended that you have huskies around small animals unless they are raised with them so i wanted to make sure that i got a dog or got a puppy who was going to be raised with her so it wasn't going to be something we ever had to worry about and then also i just wanted to be the one to train her i wanted to know her background i wanted to know her history i wanted to do all that you know like i wanted to form that bond from the beginning i didn't want to get into get a dog and then not know what i was getting into with her what the background was anything like that so yeah on top of that siberian huskies are a popular breed people think they're really cute especially puppies and every once in a while there will be an adult husky in the shelter in the shelters around me but they go super quickly and i've never seen a puppy in the shelter but if i did like i literally don't think they would last in there for five minutes because siberian husky puppies are really freaking cute and people want them and so i did look at different rescues and i constantly look at my shelter's facebook page to just see what kind of dogs they have there and if there had been a siberian husky puppy in a rescue or the shelter that would have been my go-to option obviously because rescuing dogs is great but there wasn't and i didn't really see that happening especially because i also did want a girl and i wanted her to be black and white and i don't know you just i was gonna have a hard time finding that in a shelter or a rescue and i probably would have been looking for her the rest of my life so that's why i went with a breeder and i don't feel bad about it and nobody's going to make me ever feel bad about it because i just don't agree with the whole adopt don't shop thing and i think adopting is amazing and i think there's nothing wrong with buying dogs from breeders and i think there's nothing wrong with wanting puppies so with all that being said <laughs> let's get into the video i'm going to go ahead and end this video here i'm going to get ready and go to bed and then i will see you guys in the morning when I'm on my way to get my puppy, and I <laughs> literally can't believe this is actually happening, so. Good morning, guys. It is puppy day. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm going to my bathroom because the lighting's a tad bit better. Okay, so, it is currently like 7.45 in the morning on Sunday, April 7th, and I'm getting ready to leave to go get my puppy. <laughs> I'm seriously like, just can't believe i'm actually doing this oh my god um we're leaving at like 8 30 so i'm pretty much ready i need to get breakfast which is what i'm gonna do as soon as i end vlog clip but i figured i'd show you guys an uh, outfit of the day and then yeah okay for today i'm just wearing this turquoise blue hat and then i break i braided my hair because i really need to wash it it's really bad um, so I just braided it, put this hat on. I'm wearing my Paws quarter zip. This is from the brand Paws, which you can see right here. Um, it's like one of those brands that like 10% um, of their profits go to help um, dogs in shelters. So really like it. It's kind of like an Ivoryella type of situation, but for dogs. So 
I'm obsessed with it. Obviously, I have a ton of things from them. Not a ton, but a good amount. And this is one of my favorite items I have from them. Um, and then with that, I'm wearing these leggings. They're Nike. They say, just do it on the side. So, just black leggings, but a little fancier. And I'm probably going to wear my Roshis with this. So, yeah, super excited. the button sorry all right there you go let me get like, let me capture you meeting her this is <laughs> kylie's lifeline like since she was eight years old oh she's one of the husky <laughs> yep guys look at my puppy this is luna and she's so freaking cute and she's like, where are you going she was there was like two other ones in there with her and she was like so friendly just came right up to us was just walking around like a little cutie well her the other two were sleeping and she's so cute she looks so sad and confused i feel kind of bad Oh, hey. Isn't she so cute? Isn't she so cute? She's going to throw her <laughs> out the window? We're like, tell me that's not what you want to do. Oh, sure. Oh. I was going to say, Minnie's probably Look freaking out, but she's not because she can't see, so. Yeah. Okay, okay we're going to let her meet Daisy first. Daisy? Oh my gosh, you have a new sister. Trying to get her to meet her other dogs, but Piper and Daisy did not care, and Minnie is blind, um, so she hasn't noticed. You know, oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello. I'm like seeing her like, weren't we all here when this happened? Like... <laughs> Minnie's like legit blind, by the way. Like we went, took her to the vet a couple weeks ago, and found that out. We never told you guys that, but she's not just like blind. Like she's literally blind. Then what's that? Good girl, Smooter. Good girl, Smoo. Sure, that's not what it is. <laughs> and you're blind, so you don't even know. The way she sits like that is crazy. I know. <laughs> sitting on my lap like that. Like, I know. Luna, you tried. It's not your fault. Min. Many refuses to acknowledge her, so. Come on, Minnie, let's go inside. Okay, Caitlin just got home. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. Hello. <laughs> 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 Why did she She's obsessed with looking at herself in the mirror. I think she's so confused. She's like, <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? She just keeps looking herself in the mirror and like licking my mirror. You can see like all her lick marks on it. What are you doing? Why are you sitting like a weirdo? Luna. Okay, that's gross. That's inappropriate. Okay, guys. So I hope I got enough footage today. It was kind of odd, like trying to figure out what to vlog. I didn't want to put too much footage of just, ah, no, no, Luna. <sighs> the potty training's not going well. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, Luna, get away from your food. <sighs> Puppies, man. Anyway, I didn't know what to film because I was like, I didn't want to just film her too much because I didn't want it to be boring. So I, hopefully I got enough footage, enough good footage. She will definitely be in a lot of our videos and like all of our vlogs from now on because she is my whole heart and soul and I love her so much already, even if she does. What is she doing? 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button down below. We are trying to get to 4,000 subscribers and we are super duper close, but we just haven't been gaining a lot very much recently. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button. We upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps us out so much. I know the lighting right now is really bad. It's normally not this bad. I just can't vlog in my room really. <laughs> and yeah, we will see you guys on... I don't know when this video is going up, but we will see you on either Wednesday or Sunday, depending on when this video goes up. Peace, love, and ladybugs. Bye. Say bye. So put me down. Peace, love, and ladybugs. Peace, love, and ladybugs. Peace, I'm trying to take her outside for one more time but for the night. Not for the night. I'm sure she's going to wake me up in the middle of the night at least once. So one more time, like before, I put her in her kennel. And she... Look what she did. Do you see that? She is hiding <laughs> under my bed. And my bed is, like, really low to the ground. So I can't get under there with her to get her. Luna, you are the whore. <laughs> and you're so cute, but I need you to go potty. Ugh.